Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns of Glory, and we're going to take a look at the new guard system for the first time here. Opening up my farm, now I kind of just glanced over it in my main account, but I wanted to get this video put out, so we're going to go check it out. The first thing you need to do is open your mail and get your guard compensation. Guard system update right there and you're going to want to collect all of that because that's how you're going to level up your guards that you've already had leveled up and they put all your trap features into the guard system so you're going to want to claim that now let's go to the guards very different look this guard system and um it was a little overwhelming the the very first time I opened it up. It's still it's still overwhelming for me now. But first thing we're going to want to do after we collect our compensation from our mail is you're going to want to set your guards. You're going to want to point your guards so you know which ones you're going to want to level up first. Now, this is my farm account, so don't judge me. <laughs> on my appointed guards but this is what we're going to do we're going to appoint our favorite guards first let's see there he is and then after this we're going to start leveling them up don't start with your gold cards first. If you have purple cards appointed, they will be maxed out at level 60, not 50. So you're going to want to go do all your purples at level 60 and then do your gold. I think, I'm not even sure what the gold maxed out. I think it's 80. But I took one of my gold too far in my main account before I did my purple. And I wasn't able to get my purple to level 60 when uh, that purple guard was already maxed out before. So let's do our purple guards first, and then we're going to do our gold. I'm just going to do a couple. I'm going to do one purple and one gold just to kind of show you the system of what they got going on here. So once we're appointed, we can set our weapons or guard weapons it's not a big deal just click and equip it'll pretty much put them wherever they're supposed to be and keep in mind this is my farm account so I don't have a lot as far as guard weapons just doing this as a demonstration so once we appointed our favorite guards we're gonna equip them with their guard weapon just gonna get that done and knocked out real fast that should be it guard weapons appointed now we're gonna go back and level up our stars and let's start here so use a little arrow down there at the bottom and you should be able to put as many stars as you had on before once you get the stars leveled up we're going to click over here on the right hand tab, second from the top. And it's going to kind of show you the new guard skill point levels. Um, strength, intelligence, agility, and speed. It's recommending strength at first. Um, I wouldn't suggest messing with this bar quite yet. Let's get our guard leveled up. And then we will adjust the guard skill level bar. So, and if you click down here at the bottom, it's going to give you a little uh, description of the guard and his backstory. And right at the top right hand corner, it's going to give you a little freebie that you're going to we're going to use here in a minute. And I'll show you how to use that. So we're going to level up this guard. You're going to click the plus sign right here in the right hand corner if you're. Uh, just light up that top hat there boom and if you collect your mail you will have this guard compensation 
So we're going to take this all the way to level 60 before we do anything. And you can see this popped up down at the bottom. That's ready to level up. Don't mess with that yet. We're not there yet. Just keep leveling them up. Only thing we're doing is first you're going to appoint your favorite guards. Then you're going to level up their stars. Then we're going to level up their level. And then we're going to do everything else. So you can do it by clicking on the individual points up here at the top. Oh, really? Okay, we're going to reset. Thank you for messing up my video. <laughs> so we're going to reconnect all of a sudden. All right, let's go back. All right, here we go. We are leveling up. So like I said, you can click each individual XP or you can just hit the upgrade button and watch it do it for you each individual level. Um, easier this way, you're going to save some time, but it's still a little time consuming. Get this banner out of here. So like I said before, we're going to take all our purples up to level 60 first. If you have those appointed, if you have a purple as one of your favorite guards appointed, you're going to want to max those out level 60 before you do your golds. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to max these out. At least I wasn't anyway. So, come on, come on, come on. Let's go level 60. Bear with me for just a moment. Eight, 59 60 now it's going to tell you you're going to lose a little xp by maxing this out to level 60 because well, let's try this once you get it to 59 then you can start tapping them individually so you don't lose a little bit of xp you might still lose just a little bit Oh, that's going to take forever doing it that way. Let me if I can just hold my finger down on it. No. Well, we're just going to have to lose just a little bit. I'll lose 880. Nah, I'm not down with that. So if you tap them individually, let's see, it should go down now. All right, we'll just confirm that. We'll just lose a little bit. Okay, we took it to level 60. Now that we've taken it to level 60, it's maxed out and it has already boosted up our guard skill abilities a little bit for us. Every time you level up, um, it'll raise these guard skill abilities. So I don't have a lot of recommendations. Um, this new system, I haven't formulated a strategy on where to put the points. Um, it does recommend for this guard, uh, to put most of them in strength. Now, some of the other guards, it'll recommend intelligence. And I haven't seen any guard recommend speed and agility yet. Like I said, I'm still just playing with this. But what I've been doing is putting 10 into speed, 10 into agility, 30 into intelligence, and the remainder into the recommended. So we got 10, 10, 30, 50. This is what I've been doing. I've been putting 10 into speed, 10 into agility, 30 into intelligence, and the remainder into the recommended, whether it be intelligence or strength. And then we're just gonna click save. Boom. All right, let's go do a gold card. Now, before, I recommended doing all your purples first to level 60, but I'm not going to do every single one on film. Nobody's got the time to watch that. So, now we're going to do him. First thing we're going to do is we're going to level up our stars. Boom. Don't have a lot of stars on him. Then we're going to do our guard level. 
Like I said before, these gold cards go way past level 60. I, I'm not even sure. I, I, I'm guessing that they go to 80. Let's see how far we can take this one. But you're going to use all your XP points, so be careful. Make sure that you level up your purples to level 60 before you try this. But a lot of exciting stuff going on. New guard system and strategies being developed. I was a little bummed when they dumbed down the airship so much. They um, oversimplified it and took away the strategy. And I guess this is their way of bringing some of the strategy back into the game with this new guard system. So we're going to be playing with this for a while. I imagine there's going to be a lot of videos coming out about this new guard system uh this is just my first i imagine i'll have several so please just uh stay tuned like and subscribe i'm gonna take this i don't think i'll take this all the way but i'm definitely gonna take it to at least level 65 and stop right there i just kind of want to show everybody what it looks like because we don't want to burn up all our points on one guard so 65 is a pretty good spot do all your purples to level 60 you know what i take it back let's go to 70 <laughs> you know what i'm curious let's just go all the way this is one of my farms so i want to see what it maxes out at I thought maybe level 80, but I could be wrong. Oh, it is level 80. Okay, cool. Gold guards are maxed out at level 80. So first we're going to appoint our guards. Then we're going to set our guard weapons, which is easy. Then we're going to do our guard stars. Then you're going to level up your purple guards first to level 60. Then you're going to do your gold guards, and they go all the way to level 80. And this is before we even messed with any of their special abilities, their guard skill abilities. And like I was doing before, I'm putting, right now, I'm just putting 10 into speed, 10 into agility. And 30 into intelligence, and the remainder into the recommended strength. Strength isn't always recommended. It depends on the guard. Sometimes intelligence is recommended first. Oops. You put that one to 40. But that's okay. We got a reset. Wow, this one didn't give me a reset for my special abilities. Huh. On my farm account, it was it allowed me to reset. For 100 cost me 100 gold to reset these abilities oh which i did cool so we reset the abilities and i accidentally put too many in one so we're gonna go 10 10 30 We're going to do 29 because I want 40 in the recommended. Yeah. And you can get this XP by attacking threats. So we're going to save that. There we go. So we got 10, 10, 30, 40. Save. All right. And another cool feature. Let's get this out of here. Is before... We only had three formation settings. Now you got eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is really awesome because three was just not enough. I mean, I got my threat formation. I got my wolf formation. I got my underworld gates formation. I got my PvP, player versus player formation. 
You know, I got my tower formation for UAC. I have all these different formations and I just didn't have enough slots to put them all. So this is really awesome. Thank you. Guns of Glory. I got one at least. Now let's go find a threat. Hopefully we can find something nearby. And I just kind of want to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like with the new uh, sitting out of March look. This is the look of your new March. And we're going to pick your formation. You can see all the the eight formations on the right here. Really stoked about that. Um, we got our guards. It automatically appointed. Of course, you can just click those out. Put whatever you want in there. And March. And we're going to speed this up. course it's going to go through the forest 50 seconds when that hits but that's where you're going to get your guard xp is just attacking those threats and they got some special deals going on right now if you're a spender you can get these packs on sale for the new guard system all right let's go back so first thing you're going to do a point you're going to appoint your favorite guards then you're going to put your guard weapons into place. Boom. Then you're going to level up your stars. Then after you level up your stars, then you're going to level up all your purple guards to level 60 before you move to your gold guards. Please max out your purple if you have them appointed before you level up your gold otherwise you're going to be lopsided and then once you do all that down here at the bottom the extra guard skill level see it the green star flash in there looks like a marijuana dispensary you're going to click on that and once your purples are maxed out you're going to want to use the same type of guard to level these up instead of take two. Since I already have this guard maxed out, I don't need these extra duplicates. And you're going to use those to level up these abilities. It's going to unlock the next one. Same thing. It's going to take me three this time. Boom. It unlocks the next one. And you might not have enough, so I would suggest using, going down here at the bottom and using guards, duplicates that you just don't use a lot of, that a guard you're not really crazy about. So we're going to use four of those. Now this is just for demonstration purposes. I wonder why that last one didn't unlock. Let's see. Upgrade unique skill to level 10. I have to do some more research on that. But yeah, these are my recommendations, people. This is my first look at the new guard system. It's really exciting. It's very overwhelming. Just uh, be patient. First thing you want to do is check your mail and collect your compensation. Once you have your compensation, like I said before, then you want to appoint your guards. Once you appoint your guards, you're going to level up their star levels. Once you level up their star levels, you're going to want to level up your purple cards to level 60 that you have appointed before you go to gold. Okay? Then put everything else into gold. And then after that, then you can concentrate on the guard skill level. All right, everybody, I'm Royal Blood, 158.